Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Olivia. And today we are heading to... Wyalusing State Park in western Wisconsin. I forgot what it was for a second. Today we are going to hopefully thread the needle between a couple of thunderstorms. And we're going to check out um, Sugar Maple Trail and maybe a couple of other things here. We'll hopefully have some... Uh some good views some good pictures we're gonna have a picnic as long as the rain holds off otherwise it'll be a picnic in the car <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, come along with us welcome, welcome to, to calico, calico adventures, adventures. It's about right across the river from Effigy Mounds National Monument, so there are actually some Effigy Mounds within the state park as well. And the river, of course, I'm referencing is the Mississippi River, which borders between, uh, in that area, Wisconsin and Iowa. The name Wyalusing translates to Home of the Warrior in the Lenape language spoken by Muncie, Delaware tribes who settled in the area in the 19th century after getting displaced from farther east. There's also one more area that I want to check out, which is the only nationally recognized uh, memorial for the now extinct passenger pigeon, which is also located there. So I'm hoping we can check out that memorial today too. <laughs> We're about to embark on the Sugar Maple Trail. It's a grueling 30 mile hike. No, I'm just kidding. It's one and a half <laughs> miles. So it shouldn't take us too long to storm through it. And hopefully we'll see some gorgeous views and more than just a leaf colored trail. We are going to see two interesting things. There's one large effigy mound, according to the map, and there's also the pictured rock cave on this trail. So we'll see if we can uh, spot both of those and get some good pictures and some good footage of them. I'm excited to see all the cool stuff here. I'm also loving the fall vibe here. Yep, it's a very nice fall vibe. Even though it's like 82 degrees and warm. Something <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> so come along with us. Officially at the halfway point. 
if we were to go that way, we would reach the river. Which river? The mighty Mississippi. The mighty Mississippi. So what have we found? We found an owl. An owl. Well, the owl found us, question mark. All right, Jeff's gonna take his beefy big camera here, and I'm gonna... That's not gonna, the other side. That goes on the other side. Just making sure I'm holding the lens properly. He's looking away from you, though. We're not interesting enough for him. So using my Merlin bird app, we figured out what owl it was based on the pictures that Jeff is taking. And it is a barred owl. Now owls in general are actually uncommon in our area, as you can see here. Um, they actually are more active during the day than other owls. What we did was we played its song just so we could get it to look at us and just confirm it was what we saw. So, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Is that the coolest that's... thing you've, uh, coolest nature animal you've ever uh, photographed? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if we could see it at night. spots to take pictures. We even got a picture of an owl and uh, lots of good scenery. He's so brown. For 1.5 miles, <laughs> that was um, very strenuous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was 1.5 miles, but it was also up, down, sometimes at the same time, <laughs> uh, sometimes a little sideways. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really pretty. Absolutely <laughs> worth it worth it and we really I kept saying to Jeff we really threaded the needle about timing because right before we got here they had a bit of a downpour and then we did our nice uh, hike it took two hours as soon as we came out of the the trail it started raining and then we yeah. got in here for our picnic lunch and it started pouring <laughs> so we really got the best timing we did we did all those breaks and pictures I took that picture of that barred owl I can't stop thinking about that that, that was really cool oh we didn't we didn't get a lot of camping in this year no it's it's been a busy year for all kinds of things what we're looking at is kind of a, a turning point for us we're, we're we're over seven years now here and we're kind of thinking it might be our last so we're uh, kind of dreaming about the future of us and Calico and, and all of that and where we want it to go. We're hoping we can get a deal on a used truck. A pickup truck. A uh, used pickup truck in December because why? Well, we bought a trailer. 
It's a 7x16 cargo enclosed trailer with a v-neck and a ramp do uh, door. And we have been talking, ever since we started talking about Calico, about doing some kind of conversion of some sort. Whether it was an RV or a cargo trailer or something. And kind of taking that camping with us. And now was the time to buy it. We've got some great ideas for the trailer. Um, it's currently at my parents' house. My dad has a, uh, a Ford F-150 that he's kind enough to bring the trailer back from the place we purchased it. And sometime next month we're hoping that he'll come down and uh, bring it with him. And then we're going to start, start working on it. When we started this, we developed a, kind of a, a phased plan uh, to develop the skills that we need to build tiny houses uh, and our own house or whatever you want to throw into the mix. We'll be working on the trailer over the winter. That's why we want to get it sealed up uh, beforehand. One thing that we I hope to do with this channel now that we have the trailer once we start getting it is I'd like to take a portion of our videos to actually showcase where we're at with the trailer, maybe show some time lapses of the things we're doing, and mm. kind of talk about our our, uh, our process as we go. So we're really, really excited for it. Well, thank you for coming along on this journey with us. Um, since this is for our October video, uh, have a wonderful Halloween. You know we're gonna be decorating and celebrating as usual. Uh, hopefully we'll, maybe we'll get a little bit of a, uh, like an Instagram video up or something of the, of the setup this year. So, uh, and we will catch you again in our November video. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We leave you this week with scenes from a wash at Wyalusing State Park in western Wisconsin.